hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel and today we're gonna learn about stop losses what stop losses are and where do you place them to be effective while trading so stop loss i am sure as all of you know if you're buying if you place a buy trade the stop loss is the worst possible price till where you can tolerate the loss and at that point you square off the trade because that is all the loss that you want to take right and in the case of a short selling uh, that is the highest point in the price till where you will stay in the trade right so this is a stop loss so how do you play how and where do you place your stop losses so at the very basic level so if suppose your trade is a long if you're going long on a stock the ba very basic level is to place your stop loss below a support zone right because that place would act as a support for the stock and it could potentially bounce back and you could be in profits again so once it breaks the support now you'll be sure that okay now this might this stock might go further down so i'll stop and cut my losses right here itself and for a short trade the exact opposite obviously it will be above a resistance so suppose if you have a resistance zone you'll play you will give it some space and place your stop loss a little above the resistance zone right because the stock could come and reverse from that point and move in your direction again so uh, ha, uh w what is important after your uh, once your stock starts moving in your direction so suppose you have placed a trade at 100 rupees so you have bought a stock at 100 rupees and your stop loss is 95 right and you have a fixed target of let's say 110 now in this your risk to reward ratio is 2 2 is your risk to reward ratio which is a very decent risk to reward ratio right so the stock has started at 100 and it slowly starts moving up now one important thing to remember is as i've told you already a lot of times stocks do not move up in a single line right they move up in waves they move up in waves and waves always so it will show some momentum upwards and then come back down again it'll go up and then come back down again now from 100 to 110 the uh, it is the target is of a t it we are targeting a 10 percent profit right so very rarely does the stock directly go 10 uh, rise 10 percent in value so it will go two to three percent maybe and then come retrace half percent one up one percent 1.5 percent whatever and then go up again and then come back again and then go up again so how do you deal with this and how uh, and how do you basically adapt to this you have to keep modifying your stop loss this is the very uh, important part so you do not once you once your trade is is in green once your trade is in green and you're making profits you do not want that to turn red if it's green let it stay green you do not want a trade which is going well turning into a pro turn into a loss so how do you try to minimize this obviously nothing is 100 percent sometimes it may but how do you minimize this so whenever we observe that a stock is moving up it moves in waves right this is the way it moves in so what you do is whenever a stock goes up and suppose you bought this is your buying price and this is your stop loss so let me name this S1. This is the first stop loss you have to set when you when you place the trade. And let's say this is your target here. Now as soon as you took the trade, this is your stop loss. The stock has moved up. It has retraced a little and come back down. And then it has start mov started moving up again. So once the stock is around this area, once it has started its journey upwards again, what what would be better for you is you move this stop loss which was below your buying price to around this area now this i would say is s2 now what is the use of this so you're buying here when the stock moves up and start retraces and starts moving up again if you uh, shift your stop loss above now what what this does is your worst case scenario would be stock turning around from here and then breaking this support it has formed and then uh, hitting your stop loss again right even if this would happen you'd still make a profit you're still in green you're still making a profit and you're still in green so this is the advantage so 
because it's a game of probabilities once once this support is broken your buying price may also be broken and it may it there is a very good probability that the stock has turned around and the trend has reversed so to avoid this you can always trade this is called trailing your stop loss so to avoid this you can always always modify and trail your stop loss so that you can minimize the number of uh, profitable trades turning into losses and hitting your stop losses right so if you keep doing this suppose this is how the stock has moved so this is your s1 once it goes here you modify and make this your s2 and once it comes back retraces and again starts moving up you can modify this as your s3 so always main give give it some gap give it some gap always for the stock to move below the support zone now again it has come up s4 and has hit your target here so in case any any point of time at any point of time even if the, even if the trend reverses and the st uh, and the uptrend the stock moving in an uptrend turns into a sideways consolidation phase or a downtrend you will still come out of the trade with a profit right this is the main advantage of this and this is the main point of modifying your stop losses and having trailing stop losses this was about the stop loss part and about the targets part so do you have fixed targets also now i said you need to have flexible stop losses so you need fl a flexible sl now what what about a flexible target instead now target is generally fixed that's what you would have learned from the very beginning now what if your target is flexible too what does this mean so even after my target has been hit once in a trade so the trade has moved moved up and it has hit my target this is my target level right this is my buying price and now this is my s4 this is my current s4 now mostly it is a good practice obviously to book your uh, book your profits but what if there is always this one dilemma what if this stock shoots up even further now the target you set is around a resistance level obviously where previously it has taken resistance now this resistance is not a solid resistance stock can always break through the previous resistance so what if the stock moves up further from 110 and in the next 3 days it reaches 130 so you are making a profit no doubt but you can make more profits right so always try to maximize your profits try to hold on to your winners that's what you that that is the basic uh that is one of the most famous sayings of warren buffet as well hold on to your winners and cut your losers so how do you hold on to this winner after it has hit the target same way you observe how the price is moving after it has as you uh, don't set your sell sell order right here don't place your sell order yet wait and see how the how the price reacts around your target level now suppose the price is consolidating or has started to move down yes of course you can book your book your profits your profits would be relatively lesser right uh, you'd still be in profit but they'd be uh, a little lesser now what if it is consolidating here for a couple of days and then breaks out so this is again set a trailing stop loss again even after it has hit your target wait if there are any signs of reversal from your target point if there is a bullish Uh, sorry if there is a bearish engulfing formed or a rejection candle formed or a strong red candle formed then you can exit the trade right but do not exit the trade if th the price is still showing strength now the advantages of this obviously you can get a bigger profit now i will show you this with a live example right which i have personally traded a couple of day uh, a couple of months ago so happiest minds now i traded around this area this is all the chart i had to see this was the chart of the happiest minds when i traded right now what did i see here i observed that there was an ascending channel pattern right i drew this here i saw that this support, this line was acting as a good support right and then this was an area of resistance for the stock now i i entered the trade around 350 rupees on the 8th of february right here at 350 this is where i entered the trade right i had my stop loss below these previous lows the support it had taken from the trend line 
so below this previous low was my stop loss it was a very tight stop loss and my target was also around this high so it was a 2.5 to 3 day uh, around these highs was my target so this was a risk to reward of 3 so if i lose i lose 14 rupees if i gain i make 43 rupees this was a very decent trade right and no in a in just 4 days my my target was hit but what happened on the fourth day when the target was hit was this candle had a gain of plus 7.8 percent on that day the stock moved 7.8 percent upwards at the closing price it was 7.8 when it was at this point it was about 11 to 12 percent so did i sell this off right here where as soon as i hit my target no of course right it, it, it's showing great momentum once it show once it has gained 7.8 percent or 10 percent or has gained a lot in one day the probability side is that it will keep going up uh, there is a very less probability that will turn around and come back down right away if it turned back and came right down then fine i book my targets right around here i my profits will be relatively lesser but i waited obviously because the stock was showing great momentum i waited 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 and booked somewhere around here so what that essentially did was it turned my 1 is to 3 risk to reward into uh, into 1 is to 13 1 is to 14 so this is my ledger and here you can see the buying price is 350 and the selling price is 540 on the 8th of february and 23rd of february the quantity i had to take less because i had some uh, i had my money in other stocks as well at that time of po uh, that point of time so this was my trade 350 to 540 so as you can see 540 is around here so i still waited i did not book my even after this candle i was still waiting even this was a six percent gain why would i sell my stock after the stock rose up six percent i waited again another day on this day it raised five percent on this day it went three percent so i kept waiting 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 and then this was the point at which i observed the first signs of reversal a bullish reversal uh, i'm sorry a bearish reversal this was a bearish engulfing formed strong red candle so i still waited after this day closed also i saw how it reacted the next day and then the markets opened slightly up and the stock stock started coming back down again and that is when i booked my targets so you can clearly see that after i booked my targets stock consolidated a lot right so uh i don't think i, I booked right there i booked on 23rd right so 23rd is this day on this red day on the first day itself i booked my targets uh, so i booked my profits so you can see as soon as i booked my profits stock went into a consolidation phase again so was this the right thing to do oh, absolutely it was because i so initially my risk to reward was 1.3 now it's around 1 is to 13 1 is to 14 right so this is the advantage of trailing your stop losses so this one trade was e could now even if i make 10 or 12 losses in a row this one trade is enough enough to compensate for me right so this is the advantage of holding your holding on to your winners and holding a trailing stop loss and not a fixed stop loss and a fixed target right so that you can maximize your profits and cut your losers so that's it for today and thank you.